JKB back with another episode today in the show I'm reviewing El Hio. Thank you so much to the dev for the review copy. El Hio is an adventure stealth game where you play as a young boy who's on an adventure to find his mother. Now, I'm not going to give away too much of the story here, but the idea is that the mother is running from outlaws and the law themselves, and she decides to leave the boy behind. Now it's up to you to stealthily get through a bunch of missions to find your mother. You also, later in the game, do have a few missions where you play the mother herself. The story is told through visual cutscenes. You'll get no voice work for many of the actors in the game except simple grunts and sounds when they're walking around, but it's missing a voice cast and that was a choice that they made which I feel could have been much better if they had some voice actors in here with a decent script because it's not really telling a powerful story just through the visuals. You do need another layer to it to really connect to the characters and while the art design is very beautiful, I do feel that the game overall is a little disappointing. When you look at the mechanics of a stealth game, it's always going to come down to the tools in the environment and how you use them to get to the end of the mission. When I was playing this game, I felt that it was lacking in both of those areas. While you can do things like run for a short distance and hide behind objects, and later in the game, unlock tools that you'll use, it doesn't feel as open as, you know, most of the games you've played that are mainline stealth games. It's really locked into the idea that it's open in the beginning, but as it gets deeper into the game, you do get tools like I just said. However, the issue is the pathways become narrower in some odd way, so using those tools feel less necessary and more of a forceful thing. So in terms of gameplay, overall in the game, it's very simple. I mean, this is a bare bones, and I mean, again, I'll say it again, bare bones stealth game, and you're going to really be playing it only for the visuals. The stealth mechanics are so bare bones that I can't even recommend the game just for that. Within the missions, you'll also be able to inspire children that are around the missions. Now, later into the game, those children will end up helping you in some of the missions, of course, but I do feel, once again, that it is just lacking enough content to be a truly special game. Now, the visuals, like I said, tell the story and push it forward, but as you get into the game, nothing really changes in terms of the mechanics. You can throw a rock, which will make the enemies look in different directions. And you'll also be able to use a bird that will show you essentially where the enemies can look. Their targeting cones. I don't know the technical term for that, but the ability lets you see the line of sight of the enemies. So, in saying all of this... Is it the type of game that I would really suggest to buy based on its mechanics alone? No. Now that's not to say that the game is absolutely horrible. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10 and say that there's a lot here in terms of visuals and the art direction of the game is very, very well done. I do like the inspiration from the good and the bad and the ugly. I love the music in the game. I just feel that it's very bare bones and the story doesn't really go anywhere special. It's a very simple tale of a young boy who's got to find his mother and at the end of the day getting through these missions all feel the same and at times I was also able to just basically run through some of the early levels which I thought was kind of silly because the AI would simply ignore where I was on the screen. So again this is only going to be recommended to the fans of hardcore stealth games out there that love just simply sitting back and trying to get through a level without being seen. You definitely do that in this game, but at times it can be quite boring. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification. That way when I upload a new video, you'll know when it's uploaded. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next episode of JKB.